It's First Friday. We have a First Friday artist, Jade Haggard, here. This is one of her works. Very cool. Possibly cooler is the process by which she gets to have her art realized. Thanks for being here, first of all. Thank um, you. Do you have a name for how you do what you do? Yeah, I've been entitling it Magnetic Painting. Magnetic Painting. The process okay. of. There's a, such a thing as magnetic paint. Okay. But this is. I've been developing a process of magnetic painting. Okay. When I, when, if I hear magnetic painting, I think of those things when you were a kid, you had the little stick and you put the beard on the guy, it was like metal <laughs> piling, that, but right? it's not that. What, what, how, how did you, did you stumble upon this? You gave it a lot of thought? How, how, how did it come about? It was a process of thinking and I attribute it to a feeling of boredom. Okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out new ways to interact with paint okay. that no one's ever thought of yet. Well, I, I, think, I think you got it. So is there, uh, T tell, tell me how the process works. Let's see your process. Well, it's very simple. Okay. And I will begin. I have a little mixture of paint in a petri dish. Okay. And what I do, I buy these 12 ounce jars of iron filings. Okay. And I take. So I wasn't too far off with the little, <laughs> right. the little wand and the. <laughs> and what I do is I all, I mix the iron filings in with the paint. Okay. Doesn't affect the color. Nope. Gives it some texture too. And then to dilute it a little bit, I take linseed oil. Okay. Mix it in. It take, sometimes it takes a while to get a good consistency well, that's not too... I was going to say, when you first wet. thought of this, was there a considerable trial and error that but you thought, oh, if I could just get the, you know, the proportions right and stuff, I'm onto something? No. Um, <laughs> I, I just mostly did it, okay. you know, instinctively. <laughs> I love that. But, no, that's great. And I really just kind of eyeball it. Sure. Like right now, I need a little bit more iron. While you're working up the, the kinks on your uh, recipe, you might feel that you do ha you do have an exhibit right now at, at the yes, art Yes, sir. Bank, right? Yes, awesome. sir. Sir. And I'm. <laughs> I respect I, I you. I appreciate your manners, but <laughs> it just makes me feel old. And I will be doing demonstrations, demonstrations like this as well? this evening. Because, like I said, I think the process is just as curious. Okay, now we, okay. I have all kinds of little magnets yeah, you do. in here. I don't see many brushes. See, it's a messy. You thing. have to keep towels around. <laughs> well, I, I have children, so I, I keep towels around anyway. Okay. Now I'm going to take the strongest magnet that I have thus far. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it on the back. Oh, actually, do you want to hold that yeah. for me? I want to be of some use to that. Okay. It's been a, okay. <laughs> My hands are all dirty. That's all right. Whoa! <laughs> now move it around. Oh my! Look at that! <laughs> it's really fun. That's the coolest thing that I've is had. that is awesome. Is that not cool? <laughs> oh my god! And oh. but it, but something you can't quite tell. If if I had moved around as much, you get a lot of depth and texture to it too. Mm -hmm. That kind of looks like Squidward. <laughs> a green Squidward sort of thing. This is really cool. This is awesome. We're going to keep painting. Remind people again at artbankgallery.com, correct? Yes. Do you have your own website as well? Yes. What is that? www.twocansonastring.net. Two cans, like T W O cans, not yes. like the exotic, exotic bird, right? Two cans on a string. Right. Okay, we're going to put that link on Indie Style. <laughs> I'm going to keep Tom painting. This is the coolest thing ever. When we come back, we're talking more about the, the Indianapolis Chinese Festival. That is just.